The other day we had a tree service company taking down a couple of trees in our neighborhood, one of which happened to be a dying sugar maple standing right by our deck. I asked them to leave the trunk behind for me to try milling it. I've tried chainsaw milling before on a smaller black walnut trunk with original 18-inch bar and chain. This trunk, however, is 22-inch wide in the middle and 18-inch bar would not work. What I'm trying to do here is to fit 24-inch bar and ripping chain to the saw. One challenge is that OEM chains for electric saws are low profile, and to my knowledge, there are no low profile chains for bars larger than 18. I don't know if this is going to work, but making an honest effort while filming hoping to get good results. So I was able to fit this 24 inch bar here to the saw that supposedly shouldn't take it by filing this hole slightly off the center here because um, a pin on this tension mechanism on a saw is not only a smaller diameter but it also sits further out from the center comparing to the the hole on this um, Oregon bar so I did this and even though the sprocket is a little bit too small for the full-size chain, so original chain on this then is a low profile and this ripping chain is not. This chain and this bar, they fit together well. So even though the sprocket is a little bit small, but it fits and it works. But what I found didn't work that well is this mechanism, the uh, the tension adjustment mechanism. It doesn't have enough travel. So what I decided to do here, let's see if I can make this happen, I hope I can, is to, so this is easy to disassemble. So the plan here is to get, come on, Get this thing off. This slides right out. this to so the plan is to make a different part to replace this one so I got a 3 8 aluminum it's exactly the same the so width of this thing is the depth of this aluminum piece so I got a plan to cut out this is roughly the shape make this pin larger and close it to the center and make this whole thing shorter so I can put more tension on this chain and this bar. Let's see if you can make this.
And here's the first challenge. This is definitely an M5 thread, but, but, it's a, uh, it's a left hand. It uh, goes the other way. So we've got to order myself a left hand M5 tap. Rotates all right, it's a bit tight, but I think this is gonna work. Victory! Hey, hey, a little bit loose, but it's not the end of the world. As you can see, it did work. This took between 4 and 5 battery charges for each cut. I had to take frequent breaks to recharge my 3 batteries, obviously not the super robust solution. But for my specific needs it did the trick, and I'm happy with results. <laughs>